This video will cover beginner part 2 questions regarding the limit of trigonometric function. This is the first question. Do you remember limit as x approaches 0 sin x over x equals 1? This problem is the same as sine converted to tangent. So limit as x approaches 0 Tangent can be rewritten as sin x over cosine x, then keep the 1 over x, then limit as x approaches 0, change this to sin x over x times 1 over cosine x. The limit of product is the product of the limit, so Limit as x approaches 0, sin x over x times limit as x approaches 0, 1 over cosine x equals the first limit equals 1 times the second one. When you put 0 into x, 1 over cosine 0. So 1 times cosine 0 means 1, so 1 over 1. The final answer is 1. Now we have another formula. Limit as x approaches 0, tangent x over x equals 1. We learned these formulas at limit of trigonometry function beginner part 1. It can only be used in the limit problem, but sine and tangent can be used interchangeably. So we can use the formulas for sine that we already know by converting it to tangent, or we can mix sine and tangent. Let's try to solve this problem and see if the formula is correct. Use the formula we learned earlier, that one, so shortcut. Limit as x approaches 0, sine 2x over tangent 3x equal, that one is only take the number. So 2 over 3, that is the answer. Then let's check together. Limit as x approaches 0, sine 2x divided by tangent 3x which is sine 3x divided by cosine 3x equals sine 2x times upside down so cosine 3x over sine 3x and then this one is actually sine 2x over 1 so sine 2x in the numerator so we need 2x in the denominator, so times 2 over 2 times x over x. And this one, sine 3x in the denominator, and we need 3 over 3. Then we can rewrite as limit as x approaches 0, sine 2x, this one, over 2x, 2x times 3x over sine 3x times cosine 3x here, cosine 3x times, and 2 over 3 is left over, and use the limit law it becomes limit as x approaches 0, sine 2x over 2x times limit as x approaches 0, 3x over sine 3x times limit as x approaches 0, cosine 3x times limit as x approaches 0, 2 thirds. As you know, the first limit 
equals one, and then second limit is another one, and the third limit, the cosine zero equals one, and the last one is just a two third. So answer equals two third. C is the same. This is the next question. Now the shortcut, just take the number 3 over 5. The answer is 3 over 5. Let's solve it by showing the whole process. So limit as x approaches 0, tangent 3x is the same as sine 3x over cosine 3x times 1 over 5x. The numerator part, sine 3x need 3x in the denominator, so times 3 over 3, it becomes limit as x approaches 0, sine 3x over 3x in the denominator part times keep the left over 1 over cosine 3x and then 3 over 5 like this then use the limit law so the first one limit as x approaches 0 sine 3x over 3x times the second one limit as x approaches 0 1 over cosine 3x and the last one times limit as x approaches 0 3 over 5 and then first limit equals 1 times the second 1 over cosine 0 times the last one is 3 over 5 equals 1 times cosine 0 means 1 times 3 over 5 the final answer is 3 over 5 so we have the same answer please remember the shortcut limit as x approaches 0 tangent ax over bx equals a over b. This is the next question. As you know, limit as x approaches 0, sine x over x equals 1, and limit as x approaches 0, tangent x over x equals 1, but now this problem is when you put 0 into x, cosine 0 over 0. Actually, cosine 0 means 1. So 1 over 0 means does not exist. So this final answer is does not exist. So please remember these three limits. This is the next one. This problem should not be confused with this limit. This one is as x approaches 0, but this problem now is as x approaches infinity. So please remember this infinity. This one is 0. The range of sine x is minus 1 to 1 and then divide by x on each side so minus 1 over x and then sine x over x is less than or equal to 1 over x and then limit on each side x approaches infinity minus 1 over x limit as x approaches infinity sine x over x the limit as x approaches infinity 1 over x and then this one as you know the answer equals 0 and then limit as x approaches infinity sine x over x 
is less than or equal to that one is also 0. So this limit is between 0 and 0. Therefore, the limit as x approaches infinity sin x over x equals 0. This is the squeeze theorem, which is sometimes called sandwich theorem. This is the last question, and I will also use the squeeze theorem. Shall we check it? Only sign is changed to cosine. It's exactly the same as the problem we just solved. Cosine x is minus 1 to 1 and divided by x on each side. Minus 1 over x is less than or equal to cosine x over x less than or equal to 1 over x. Then limits on each side limit as x approaches infinity minus 1 over x less than or equal to limit as x approaches infinity cosine x over x and then limit x approaches infinity 1 over x then the left side limit equals 0 and the keep the middle one And right side the limit is also zero. So therefore, limit as x approaches infinity, cosine x over x equals zero. By squeeze theorem. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. And I will address them in a future video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.